Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Authentic Man Podcast. This is one of my many um, mini episodes where I take on a small topic and talk about it briefly in under 10, 12 minutes usually. Um, and today I am talking about do women want their sex? And this is something that comes up in, in my coaching when I'm working with men who are dating um, or men in relationships where they have this idea that their partners or women in general want their sex. Um, and I don't believe this. It's not true. We kind of sold this idea that women want their sex. I think we really sold this as heterosexual men, especially, that women want their sex. Um, and it's not true. There's no evidence of this. There's no scientific evidence. I've, I've checked some studies about this before in the past when I'm doing workshops around sex and intimacy, and there's no evidence at all to say that women have lower libido than men. Um, you know, I, I would say from my personal experience, which is <laughs> um, a reasonable subset for one person, um, that women usually want more sex than men. Um, that's been my experience. I see this quite a lot with, in my coaching, if I'm honest, where I'd say it's more common that um, the female partner in heterosexual relationships wants more sex than the man does, especially over uh, over time. Um, and again, I'm, this is not scientific research, I'm just saying on average. Um, so there's nothing scientifically proven. But I would say is what I see often um, in general is that women don't just want kind of like sex for sex sake. Um, in terms of just put it in, you know, go from zero to 100, having sex, five minutes and done. That's where we start to get this disconnect in relationship, right? So especially if you're dating, for instance. And let's tackle the dating part first, actually. I think it would be quite interesting. Um, women do want to have sex. They want many things. They want to be respected. They want you to actually want them and not just want to have sex and they happen to be there. That's something that often I see with guys is that they are wanting to have sex and the woman just happens to be there on a day and they're just kind of going for it. You know, a woman wants you to be present, you know, and actually wanting her and who she is. Um, and, you know, if you're dating and you're finding that, you know, women don't want to have sex, it's because you're not connecting deep enough with who they are emotionally, like being really deeply present with who they are and listening and being curious um, this is something that I'm tackle, t currently tackling inside of my men's um, group, the, the group program that I'm running, an eight week group, group program, is the men have really seen a shift during one of the modules, which is about presence, when it comes to talking to their female partners or dates, when being present, attraction naturally occurs more, it's created more. So if you're on dates and you're finding that it's never leading to sex, then increase the ability increase the amount that you're really present that you're really listening that you're really feeling what she's feeling and reflecting that back and sharing what you're feeling you know if this is something that's really challenging to you please get in contact and we can talk about how we could work together to help you because that is one of the biggest game changers um so i guess from the point of view of kind of relationship and even even dating because you know dating is just the beginning of a relationship in my books so there's not a huge difference between the two is it's really spending the time, as I said earlier, to be present and to connect, like to um, understand and be understood, sharing who you are, what you're feeling, your thoughts, your feelings, like your ideas with the woman you're with and actually taking the time to really deeply listen. This is something, again, is something I'm working with men at the moment is like really listening and like putting aside your assumptions, the stories you have in your mind, like when you're listening to someone, you know, we often are listening to this, the stories instead of listening to the person in front of us and actually spending the time to really pay attention to them. So it's, it's allowing those things to fall away and actually being there. Another really important point here is, is also making sure that, you know, you're, you're warming up you know, you're progressing things along. You're not trying to just go from, hey, how are you? Start talking and intersex. And even in relationships, this is something that's important is, you know, the woman you're with, she's most likely, she wants to feel close to you. Feel close to you. Not necessarily physically, but in a, from an emotional and mental place of feeling closely connected to you. This is really important. It's a, something a lot of men skip because 
what I see for a lot of guys is that they use sex as a way to feel close to another person. And often women will use um, emotions and connectedness as a way to feel close to a person, right? So we both want intimacy, but we go about it in different ways. So it's really important to cultivate both types of intimacy, both types of you know physical, emotional intimacy in your relationship. So this is where you might be finding yourself to be having less sex. Sex has disappeared, is becoming sexless. And again, these I'm generalizing here because like I said, men and women aren't just at this two opposite ends of the spectrum completely differently, completely different, but we are socialized and we are conditioned into these kind of archetypes of man and woman. And one of those socializations for a lot of women is that to, you know, rebuff sexual advances, even if they want them, you know, to not be too sexual because, you know, society often punishes women for being sexual. And this is another thing, especially if you're dating, is that if you're dating, be really mindful of how you talk about women um, who like having sex. Like, I remember when I was dating, I was always, when I would talk to a woman and we were on a date and any mention of... Um, women in the media being sexual or anything like that, I was really honest. I'd be just be like, well, I'm all for people being sex positive. I'm all for women having lots of sex. And there's no judgment to me towards a woman who has lots of sex and lots of sexual partners. Because that's that was my truth. That deeply is my truth. Um, but it also gave the women I was dating the space to be sexual because they knew they were in a safe space where there'd be no judgment. And again, if you're dating, you need to follow that up. You know, I'm... I'm very judgment-free space when it comes to sex and many other things. And again, inside your relationship as well, is cultivating that, allowing your partner to be sexual, however that looks for her, and, and being accepting and open to that, and not shutting that down. Because this is something that will cause your partner to close up and not be sexual because she's afraid of judgment from you or the things you say, the looks you give her. You know, these are things which should be really, really important. And it's also to know, like I've said before, it's like sex isn't just this physical thing. Like for women, they, again, they want to feel you. They want to feel your presence. They want to feel your intention. They want to feel some romance as well. Like there's a there's an energy at play, which is not necessarily linear, like going upwards, but also that there's a kind of dance to the sexual energy, that there's, there's, a, there's a polarity. You know, I talk about masculine feminine polarity in a few podcasts, and it's that dance between, you know, energy and awareness or consciousness and energy or you know leadership and receiving you know that sort of dance that you're you're playing with in your relationship to create the sort of spark that keeps things alive so i would say to round it off this idea that you know women wanting less sex i just think it's a lie i think it's just an easy um way for men to not make the effort to connect with women to be honest um a lot of guys don't know how to, as, as an episode I talked about with uh, Mark Green, about how us men, we're not very versed in connection. So it means that we want sex because we, we use that as a tool for connection, um, which means that we're, we're left in our relationships or in dating where we can't create the connection, so we want sex. So learn to school yourself in the art of connection. You know, because this is this is where you you kind of bridge this gap, like connecting with people, connecting with the women that you meet, is the fastest way to to get to know them. It's it's I'm not using say it's the fastest way to have sex with them, but it's like actually connecting with people leads to connection, and connection leads to intimacy. You know, so really work on being connected to yourself, your own emotions, being able to express those. You know, wherever you are on that journey of expressing your emotions, the chances are you're not as far along down that journey as you think you are. And if you're struggling to create that course, that sort of sexual attraction in, in your relationship or your dating life, then again, there's probably some work to do around whether it's emotions or boundaries or polarity. You know, there's some work to do there. Don't just blame it on this kind of standard tripe i'm going to use the word tripe that women want less sex because i don't believe it at all women are going through sex women have been going through a sexual liberation for i don't know 40 years and men haven't male sexual liberation is way behind i i think there's so much shame for men around sex um so you know start to liberate your yourself sexually and that doesn't just mean sitting and watching porn that that might be going to a men's group and talking about sex that might be getting a sex coach that might be seeing a relationship an intimacy coach like myself 
and start to unpick some of these ideas and assumptions and feelings you have around sex and intimacy and connection. So I feel like that is plenty for you to get your your teeth into for this week. Um, if you're interested in working with me, I'm still taking on new clients um, one-to-one, on a one-to-one basis. Um, you can get in contact with me through Instagram, which is at the authentic man underscore, or you can just send me an email, um, hello at the authentic man dot net, and you can have a chat, we can have a chat about that. Um, but yeah, until this next episode, you know, I put these episodes out every week, these short ones, and I have a longer one in the middle week. If you've enjoyed this, then, you know, look for some of the, there's a wonderful episode about what women want from sex and intimacy. Um, you know, check that out, but there's plenty of episodes that you can dive into. Um, and yeah, I will leave you a wonderful day and say ciao, ciao.